Hey everybody, this is Pastor Jeff. Again, we're going to be back in Romans chapter 14. We're going to start at verse 13. So Paul writes, Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. And so we just talked about how we are not to judge one another in the previous couple days lessons. We, we talked about how we shouldn't judge one another or criticize one another for our decisions, what we eat or don't eat, or what day we worship or don't worship. And th these are not things for which we have the right uh, to judge or criticize one another about. So it says, therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer. We need to stop doing this. If you're doing this, check yourself and understand. Like I said, to despise or dislike someone is often because you've made a judgment about them but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. And so we also talked about um, not to be quarreling over opinions and such in uh, two days ago. And, and so here we are. We're to lift one another up. We are not to bring each other down. We are uh, to create opportunities uh, to, to uplift, to encourage. We're not to block someone. We're not to hinder someone in a way that prevents them from the, receiving the joy of a Christian life. We're not to cause troubles and problems and trials and difficulties. Uh, we should be someone to bring about positive and, and, and influences in a, in a great way. And yes, there will be times when there are differences, but we need, again, to do those and to handle those differences with love and patience, humility. So it says in 14, I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it's unclean. And so again, we're talking about, so there's so many things people have made judgments. People have made judgments down to the color of your car. I, I knew Christians that felt that a red car was a sin. and You couldn't wear red clothing because somehow it was only associated with harlots. That's ridiculous. And uh, that's not something that we need to be concerned about. And we've had other Christians that could, like I mentioned, could never go bowling because they drink. Well, does that mean you can't go to the grocery stores because they sell alcohol in the grocery stores? Well, no, we have to go to the grocery stores and these things. And so uh, we, need to st we need to stop with these uh, uh, things that are, are confusing. And, and if someone decides, hey, I don't want to go bowling, I like to drink, we should respect and honor that. But if you are the person that says you shouldn't go to the bowling alley, you need to respect and honor that somebody else feels like it's perfectly fine to to go to these places as long as you don't as long as uh, you you don't partake of the debauchery that might go on there and and the unclean activities that may go on there. And so we need uh, to stop judging one another, and we need to uh, allow each of us to work out our own salvation. And yes, there's going to be times we may give advice and we may give cautions, but we're going to do so with love, with compassion, and with humility. And we're going to show in Scripture, but we're not going to judge and we're not going to debate and we're not going to argue and, and these things. And it says in 15, for if your brother is grieved by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. You see, now he turns it. Now, if you're the one who eats meat and you are causing the person who is a, who is a vegetarian to stumble, because they are convicted never to eat meat, and now, they, they, and now they're confused. Well, in their presence, just don't eat the meat. It's not that what you eating meat is a sin, but if you knowingly cause someone to stumble, you're, because of your stubbornness not to abstain just for their sake for a little while, then, then you've, you've caused them to stumble, and you've put your own desires above, above their needs, and, and you've, you've stepped over and stepped and walked upon your love. Yes, because sometimes we deal, we will deal with Christians who may seem a bit uh, over the top in one area or another. We're not to judge them and hold them. As long as they're not causing harm to others, again, we, we need to allow them to be that way and not be a stumbling block to them. So it says, by what you eat, do not destroy the one whom Christ died, for whom Christ died. So don't do things that you know is going to make someone else stumble. Don't partake of things. That are, or go places that will cause someone else to stumble. Uh, it may be not sin to you, but you may cause them to stumble, and you need to respect that and be careful of that. And, uh, and sometimes that's a difficult thing, and we need to rely on the Holy Spirit, and we need to seek these things out in our lives, the things that we do. 
to cause others to stumble, we need to see, search those out and make sure we're not, in our own stubbornness, causing others to stumble. Amen.